Hey everyone, Josh here with Gamers and Geeks. I got seven, and you can barely see it. I need to get a better camera. Alright, so, uh, this, today, I'm going to be talking about, uh, Elder Scrolls, uh, Call to Arms. Alright, so, uh, this is by, uh, Modifius. By Modifius, okay? And, uh, this is a incredibly great deal. I, I forget, you can see Modifius down there. All right, so this is quite a bit, great deal. It is uh, $44.99. I was getting too close to the camera. Uh, this is Call to Arms. This has just about everything that you need to start the game. Uh, this is the core rules. $44.99. You can see this box set. It's super, super good price point considering that just a singular D&D book is $49.99, right? All right, so uh, it gives you a quest book. This has, I believe it's 12 uh, quests in total. Um, in it for you to partake in to start you off with. All right, it comes with a rule book here. Now this is pretty small, but this is both a RPG and a miniature game combined, much like Fallout, but a little bit, I guess, less hardcore than Fallout. I feel like uh, the, this being the follow-up to Fallout, they learned a lot from it. Uh, and one of the things that this game is is that this can be uh, can be single player uh, PVE, right? Uh, it can be co-op PVE, uh, and you can do skirmish battles with it. So you can uh, you you can fight in dungeons against the, like the drow and stuff, uh, or you can do storm cloaks versus imperials, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, this comes with uh, twelve quests, like I said. Uh, you get a bunch of little punch out tokens and stuff that you'll need for the game, uh, and it comes with your dice set that you need, uh, it comes with uh, event cards and so on, uh, looks like it comes with adversary cards here, uh, it comes with, looks like, uh, spells and equipments that you can earn, um, and looks like more events and like equipment that you can earn, uh, and then what is this last thing here, get out, hold on, I gotta get it out. Okay, player character cards. Uh, let's pull this out real quick. Let's see what this is. Alright, so we got the Dragonborn, uh, Rayloff, Ysarlda, uh, Imperial Mage, and Hadvar. And it comes with like their stats and stuff on it. So like little character cards. And, yeah. Is that... Yeah, they're the same front and back. I don't know why they, they like, double printed it, kind of. Or maybe one side's stronger than the other. Some of the stats look a little bit different. Okay, so there is that. And uh, i got another minute or two here left, so let's let's look back over here real quick. Uh, the core rulebook, uh, it's only, like, 100 pages long. Uh, it talks about how the game rounds occur. Uh, there are figures to this game that you can get here right now. There are only three different sets that are out. There's uh, an Imperial box set, there's a Stormcloak box set, and then there is, uh, like, the, uh, what are they called, the Drow? The, the, not the Drow, the Drog. These little guys right here, the little undead dudes. I haven't played Skyrim, I'm sorry. I like RPGs. This is an RPG. Alright, so, uh, and it even goes into, like, how elevated terrain works, uh, the game rounds, so on and so forth. Now, I know, uh, so, like, this is just the basic to get you started, and to top it off, they even, online, it gives you, on the back of this book, it gives you a link where you can go and get more source material for, for this. Because, fun fact about this game, it is based off of, uh, some fanfic, uh, fanfic, or fan-made, rather, <laughs> uh, fan-made uh, RPG of this that was on Reddit, and they paired with them. From my understanding, I could be wrong, correct me if I am, uh, but apparently they paired with uh, the folks from Reddit to create an actual physical copy of this. So, that is that. And I am going to be looking into trying this solo player. I might do a video on doing a solo player. We'll see if I have the time. And... 
That's it. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.